Hello everyone, my name is Beth. I'm the Desert Stitcher here on YouTube and the Desert Stitcher over on Instagram. And this is my floss tube channel where we talk about cross stitch. And today we're having a whip parade. Yay! <laughs> Those are some of my favorite videos. I have been watching some other uh, whip parades lately. Uh, one of them is a new to me floss tuber. He's not new on floss tube, but it's Park Harper Park Hopper Bart. Hello. <laughs> um, he recently put up a whip parade, and I just saw before I started filming that Animal Instinct has added a whip parade today. Highway Stitcher Colette. Jan Hick Creates has a two-part whip parade, and I had a lot of fun watching Sunshine Stitchers. They, it's uh, three people, and they did a whip parade individually for each person. So there's Shelia, Gary, and EJ. And so there were three different whip parade videos, and oh my goodness, so fun to watch. It was really a good time. So I wanted to show you my Whipco board real quick, and then we'll get started. Oh, and I have a finish, so... Maybe I'll show you that first. Let's do finish first. <laughs> so my finish is a small one, but it still counts as a finish. Um, Prairie Schooler Santa. This is the 2015 one. Oh, I love this. Such a relaxing stitch and very easy to do. As a matter of fact, um, I have Christmas ornaments on my Whipco board because I want to get more Christmas ornaments done, and I think it'll be another Prairie School or Santa. I haven't FFO'd this yet, but I do have a couple of ideas, so probably by the next time you see this video, my next video, this will be FFO'd. Yay! <laughs> So I did mention today is Monday, December 28th, 2020. We're officially the last week of 2020. Yay! <laughs> Alright, so this is my Whipco board. I've made one change um, since I originally showed this and posted it on Jessie Marie's, but it wasn't one of the ones that were called uh, yesterday. I actually just took one of my BAPs out, um, big arse projects, in case you haven't heard of that term, <laughs> and added something that was a little bit smaller. Not a small, but smaller than a BAP. Alright, so first, <clears throat> water. <laughs> okay, first I wanted to show you something that's going into craft prison before we get into the actual Whipco board. Um, I had started stitching this as a gift and the person I was stitching it for um, their favorite color is blue all kinds of blues so I had uh, gotten a recommendation and started working on this this is heaven and earth with designs blue morpho butterfly but I just recently found out that the person I was stitching this for doesn't like butterflies. <laughs> Oops. So this is going into craft prison and to be quite honest, I don't think it's ever going to come out again. I'm not going to um, frog all of it and take it out, but it's definitely going in the very back of the pile for quite some time, I think. And I'm a little bummed, but to be honest, I really had had enough about, of stitching this and I'll just, I wasn't really enjoying it. So I wasn't hugely disappointed when they said they didn't like butterflies, but you know, I'd already put some work into it. <laughs> so that is my craft prison item. Ah! <laughs> All right. Now, there are a couple things that I'll be doing besides Whipco. I'm still going to be doing Stitch Halloween 13, which is on the 13th of every month. Um, that's a hashtag on Instagram that was done by Gable Stitcher 
and Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World. And But this year will be focused solely on whips and not new starts. So a couple of the whips that I have that I'll be working on on Stitch Halloween 13. First is Ink Circles. And this is, the fabric is Wicked from uh, Be Stitch Me. And this is Fire Burn and Cauldron Bubble. And I will put a picture here. So I just have a little start on this. And it is terrifically fun to work on. I am using um, the Black Etoile. And I love it. And if doesn't really show up on the sparkle on camera, unfortunately, but this fabric is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, love it. Another one that I'll be stitching on for Stitch Halloween 13 is Dracula's Confession from Lindy Stitches. This is another piece that I love, and I'm not that far off from a finish, so... I do think this is something I will get done hopefully before Halloween. Yeah, this is, it's a good size piece. And this is also a fabric from Be Stitch Me. Uh, let's see if I've got the tag here and I can tell you what it is exactly. Oh, it's an unnamed. <laughs> it's 27 count and it's uh, lint, so 27 count Linda. But I love the colors in this, and I am using the called for um, flosses, except that I love the shade and the shadow part. I'm doing an 814 to 12. C814 to 12 properly. So that'll be part of my Stitch Halloween 13 rotation. Now, I'll also be working on Full Coverage Fanatics. I have a challenge piece that runs throughout the year. Excuse the zippers, I'm sorry. So for that one, I'm working on something else that is also a gift. And this is Mini Small Magellanic Cloud. Oops, let's get this a little bent up. There we go. Yeah, it's going to be gorgeous. A uh, lot, a lot of dark colors. And more dark colors than I knew there were. <laughs> All right, so let me show you this real quick. Don't get pen on your stitching. So this is where I am so far. Um, in the upper left-hand corner. And yeah, so we've got like ultra dark grape there's a lot of anchor black ultra dark navy yeah <laughs> tons of different ultra dark colors and i'm seeing flashes of light on my screen i hope you're not seeing that i was having trouble deciding where i was going to do film everything today and there's such a glare over where i normally um to my filming, I just decided to come over to the kitchen table. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to go in order of my whip go board. So the first piece on here is Jane Eyre. Oh, and the blues are what was called. So if she calls number 13, which you can use as a free space, she calls two more. So normally she calls two every month. Jesse Marie does stuff and then if 13 is called she'll call three in total now I didn't use that as a free space I do have a bap in there <laughs> so I've got two baps and Christmas ornaments all right so my first one this was my birthday start but it wasn't much of a birthday start um I filmed uh, my last floss tube on the 14th, which was my birthday. And then the phone was kind of going after that with text messages and a few phone calls, which was really nice. 
Um, but it also meant that very little stitching got done. <laughs> All right, so Jane Eyre from the Primitive Hair. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Absolutely love this pattern. And I am stitching this on Badlands from Be Stitch Me as well. And as you can see, just a teeny tiny, I've only started the J and that's it. So not much, but I'm really looking forward to this coming back out again and stitching on it. Um, I'm using the call for colors except in the Jane Eyre portion. Uh, they didn't have at the attic the gentle arts called for. So I'm using Weeks Dye Works Rum Raisin instead. Yeah. Oh, I love this fabric. In this is 28 count Lugana. Now, if you're interested in the giveaway winner, I will have that when I get up to. Um, my New Year bookcase sal, which is on my Whipco board. So that'll be coming along shortly. Next up is a biggie. That's what I'm, I have got a ton of baps, and it's going to be good to make some real progress on them. So this is Houses of Hawthorne Hollow. It is on Vintage Country Mocha, 25 count. Uh, here's the pattern and I literally just put my first stitches in this the other day so I have one word top left hand corner that's it <laughs> but I'm so excited to be working on this yep so that <laughs> So I have this. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> this. Oh my goodness. So I have a very long, long, long way to go on this one. <laughs> this will not be a 2021 finish, I don't think, but I'm hoping for 2022. I think, yeah. I love vintage country mocha. That's a favorite color of mine that's not um, hand dyed. It's printed on just one side, um, which is kind of neat. And I'm sorry about all the zippers, guys. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering, I didn't straighten my hair today. <laughs> so yeah, this is hot mess. <laughs> I just didn't feel like it. Um, I, I put keratin and straighten in every single day, and today I was just like, yeah, no, I don't feel like it. Oh, so next, after Houses of Hawk Run Hollow, in the number three space, is Summer Breeze. This is my oldest whip, and it got put away for a long time. Oh, cat hair, lovely. <laughs> because I need to do a whole bunch of frogging. Um, so that'll be the first thing that I do when Summer Breeze gets called is do a lot of frogging. And I'll put the pattern here. Uh, picture of the pattern. Mine is pretty well beat up. So, okay, here we go. Summer Breeze. And what I need to frog is all of this right in here from that little white space there all and up here needs to be frogged because it's supposed to be one thread not two <laughs> and the more I've seen it and the more I've seen the finished piece on the Paula Vaughn Facebook group I really want to take this out and do it with the one thread because it does make a big difference. So I will be doing that when this number gets called. Bummer. Yeah, we all love to frog, don't we? 
but I think it's going to be gorgeous. Um, it's called Summer Breeze by Paula Vaughn, and I'm doing it on 18 count Ada. And this is one of the Frank Edmonds scroll frames, the fillet rod. And I know there's a lot of love-hate with these, but I can't speak to, you know, a variety of them. But this one that I have, I really haven't had any trouble with it unraveling and loosening up on it. So I'm quite happy with it. And it's probably, I want to say it's at least 10 or 12 years old. All right, so After Summer Breeze is Tree of Life. And that is from Hade. And it is Ciro Marchetti. I love this pattern. This may, if I can bear to part with it, which is a big if, <laughs> this may be a replacement for the butterfly uh, that was going to be a gift. So here it is. That's what it's going to look like when it's finished. Someday. <laughs> we'll see. It's going to be gorgeous. And. Oops. It was already open. This is what it looks like now. So this is all mostly 814 and 3371 right now and it will be going all the way around the picture it's in the frame here so yeah this will go all the way around and so I'm thinking I'm gonna do the entire border first and then go back and work my way in. I may change my mind, but that's where I'm at now. So, Tree of Life was in space four on my Whipco board, and it was in space 13, which got called. So, it's getting some work this week. This, Not this week, starting January 1st. I've got plenty of other things to do this week. that away there's tree of life and next one oh I love this one um this is from in there. did you see that nope there it is the sinky was out of order and I haven't picked up this one in a little bit but I need to because I really do love it this is from modern folk embroidery and it is real comfort it is a Jane Austen quote And this is what I have so far. I am using Anchor Black and DMC 115, which is the variegated red. Just so, so pretty. And this is what it'll look like when it's finished. A uh, Kansas City girl in a Colorado world I know is also working on this. And she has more done than I do, of course. But yeah, very pretty pattern. And I'm going to try and get a little screen capture for the beginning of my video. Because <laughs> my last screen capture from my last video was totally goofy. But yeah, this is from Modern Folk Embroidery. Again, uh, I'm stitching this on 20. I want to say 20 count. Unfortunately, I didn't write it down. But if I find that information, I will add it to the bottom of the video. I love that DMC 115. It is such a beautiful variegated color. All right. So after real comfort from Jane, the Jane Austen piece is another map. And this one was also called, this is the Color of Life Large from Artisy. The designer is Chuck Pinson. And this is what it will look like. 
me get this up close because there is so much going on here. The, the gazebo, the deer, it's just gorgeous. Um, this is a huge project that I am going to be working on for several years, I'm sure. This is 200, um, a little over a quarter of a million stitches. Yeah, big one. I'm doing this on 28 count, easy count fabric. Again, so we've got the Tree of Life, which is using a lot of 814 and 3371 right now. And the Colors of Life are using the same two colors right now. So, I need to buy stock in 814. And where are we? There we are. Yeah, this is a monster big piece of fabric. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So yeah, some more 814 and 3371. <laughs> and but it's going to be I don't know what you know, some, I keep trying to hide the light switch behind me. I don't want to hide the Van Gogh. All right. Yeah. There we go. So yeah, teeny start on this one. Very, very, very long way to go, but it's going to be worth it. I think it's going to be stunning when it's finished. Okay, next on my Whipco board is the Galliana Christmas House, which is this one. Um, last time you saw this, I had a little bit of the fireplace done. So, oh, and I've also put it, just put it on a scroll frame and took it off of the, um, Q-snap. Love my Q-snaps, but, um, I got this as a Christmas gift. These are scroll frames. Uh, this is also from Frank A. Edmonds, but they have, um, like Q-snaps holders on it um my one beef with that is that they are extremely tight right now and you will take off your fingernails with it <laughs> but here's where i am with the house whoopsie i just almost knocked over my water so i've started the fireplace is done and i've started working on the staircase very enjoyable relaxing stitch I'm doing this all in Anchor Candy Apple Variegated. Uh, yeah, I think this is so pretty. I'm loving this one so much. Um, oh, and I'm doing this on 28 Count Lugana, one over one. All right. Ooh, sorry, just threw a bag in your face. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Next up after Galliana Christmas House is Home of a Needleworker 2. This is from Little House Needleworks. And this is what it's going to look like. Yeah, I like this one. I love the blue house. Well, I love houses, period. If it's got a house on it, I'll stitch it. <laughs> I'm doing this on 18 count. That was my scroll frame. <laughs> Personally, nothing. I was broken or harmed during the filming of this video. <laughs> So yeah, I love this blue. Uh, this is old blue jeans. And this is such a rich brown around the door. I love that too. So this is a fun stitch. And I'm really looking forward to getting back to it. I don't know about you, but... Um, or, you know, how you coped with this this past year. I know for me... I did a lot of uh, new start therapy. 
I have more new starts, um, new projects than I have ever had in my life at one time. So, yeah, that's, I'm going to step with WIPCO this year and get things done. My plan is uh, no new starts, not for the year, but until May. Um, for Stitch Mania, I'll be doing Magazine Mania. And um, it's also, May is also when the Nashville market has been moved to and we're going to see a whole bunch of new designs coming out. So all bets are off at that point if I'm going to pick up any new patterns and start new things. I do have some haul on the way. It hasn't gotten here yet, um, but I will be showing that in my next video. Um, I got some needle minders coming from Top Knot Stitcher. And um, I blame Pennington Terrace for this. I have some cat samplers on the way. And thank you to people that got me gift cards for 123 Stitch and other stitchy things. So I've had some fun shopping, but they just haven't gotten here yet. <laughs> All right, so next one is Susan B. Sampler. This is from Stone Street, Stone Street Stitchwork. Yeah, isn't that great? I love this one. And it, yeah, think your best thoughts, speak your best words, work your best Work your best works. Sorry about that. And I mentioned before, if you've seen my previous videos, this is a pretty accurate rendition of her house in Rochester, New York, um, which I've been to. And it, yeah, it's pretty darn close. So I'm looking forward to it. And, you know, it's a house. Of course I want to stitch it. <laughs> show you where I'm at. I'm using 18 count Fiddler's Ada. And this is what I have so far. You speak your best words. So I think that's off to a good start. Yeah. I like the little medallions here too. They're not straight up, you know, traditional red, white, and blue um, like you would see in the flag, but I love that they're richer tones in them. It's quite pretty. So I am looking forward to working on that one. And then next up after Susan B. Sampler is Daily Walk in the Woods. I have not picked this up since Stitch Mania, I think. So I'm really looking forward to getting some work done on this one. This is from Carolyn Manning. Daily Walk in the Woods. And um, using hashtag uh, all the freaking trees, which is also for the um, and a forest group pattern. So I have that one. I have not started it yet. But this has a lot of trees as well, so it fits. I'm doing this on 28 count Antique Ivory Lugana, one over one. Okay. And here's where I am with that. I did change up this tree a little bit so it wasn't perfectly symmetrical. Um, and then I'm using some called fours and then some variegated greens and browns from my stash this is quite pretty i'm really i really enjoy stitching this i'm not sure why i haven't picked it up since may but it's probably because i've started way too many things this year <laughs> she's that's next on my board and then we have i'm running out of files here okay <laughs> 2017 Linens and Threads Sampler. I just have a teeny tiny start on this 
and I'm going to put the picture here of what it'll look like when it's done. It's a band sampler and it's very large. I am doing it all in DMC 69, which is a variegated terracotta brown. It's really, really pretty colors. So, yeah, like I said, tiny, tiny, tiny start. And I noticed uh, Pennington Terrace just posted a picture on her um, Instagram account. And she is also working on this. But, of course, she's further along than I am. So, no, my TARDIS is not a part of the picture. Oh, I love the way these colors are working up. And I am anxious to see how it keeps going. I might... Um, it's got some, how would I say this? It's got some smaller bands that run in between. I may put like a, a solid chocolate brown in between each of the uh, variegated. Just so it, it doesn't overwhelm the eye, I guess is what I want to say. But yeah, this is gorgeous. And this is also from Be Stitch Me. And it's called Not Another Sampler. Very pretty fabric. It's almost got a little bit of an orangey undertone to it. All right. After linens and threads, we have Christmas in Nantucket. It's the Nantucket House Trio from Hemlock and Rye Stitchery. Uh, that's Julie from Kansas City Girl and Colorado World. I love this one. I've completed the first house. It's a series of three. I'll put a picture right here. And I completed the first house and I had done a little bit on the roof of the second house, Cherry Street. And then last night I put in a little bit more work on it. So yeah, there's the first house. And this is the second house. Um, yeah, so I've done the outline, it's hard to see, uh, the ecru all around here, and then the called for weeks dye works on the house, which, yeah, it's quite pretty. It's got a little bit of variegation to it, and this is a house that has the Christmas tree, so I'm excited to get working on that one. So, After Christmas in Nantucket was my second um, Tree of Life. So you've already seen that one. So next is 2020 Nevermore Sal. Now the pattern is Nevermore. It's from Lila Studios. I'm doing this with uh, Gable Stitcher, Kansas City Girl in Colorado World, and I believe Denise from Black Ribbon Studios. We'll also be starting it, and Caroline from the Attic expressed an interest in, in joining in as well. So we'll see. But it's such a gorgeous pattern. This is Nevermore, and it's hashtag 2020 Nevermore Sal. Isn't that nice? This is all one color, one thread color called slug bug from threadworks which i've never used before i haven't made it down there yet i saw that julie um is working on that part already and it is really pretty the way it is working up so this fabric was dyed by me and it's 28 count lugana and this is where i'm at so far Oop, come here and that is really pretty, like black lace work. So I'm using all the called for colors on this. And it's so much fun to stitch. I cannot wait to get back to it again. Hopefully not too much longer. Oop, I'm going to put you over there.
Next up is Midnight Manor. Uh, this has a space on my Whipco board, but it will also be um, one of my Stitch Halloween 13 rotation as well. In fact, this was the first Stitch Halloween 13 that I started. It's from Waxy Moon Designs, and it's Midnight Manor. I'm doing the one at the bottom here. I'm doing this on 28 Lick Count Lugana, one over one with Weeks Dye Works Fathom. And I don't know if you can see the variegation in Fathom. It's quite pretty. So it's like black, charcoal, really dark navy. Maybe you can see a little bit. It's very pretty. Yeah. And this is where I'm at so far with that. So we have a bat and a cat. And I've started over here on the mansion. So, yeah. <laughs> I really like this one. It's fun to stitch. Again, I had startitis this year. And didn't get enough project progress on as many projects as I wanted to. All right, after Midnight Manor comes New Year Bookcase Sal. Now, if you remember last week, uh, my last video, we did a giveaway. Thank you to Elaine at Galliana Cross Stitch. Um, she offered uh, me a free chart to give to one of my subscribers. So this is it. It's going to be New Year Bookcase Sal is a hashtag. And I'm starting this with MD, And our winner is... Da, da, da. Congratulations, Lindsay West. You won. I don't know if you can see what she wrote on the screen. But um, it's a prayer for Owen Meany. is one of her favorite books. And uh, Lindsay, I will post my email address on um, the description box. And send me a quick email with your email address and I will send out the bookcase to you right away and hopefully you can start with us on the first congratulations oh, great. so new year bookcase sale of course I don't have um, anything to show you yet because that was that is going to be starting on the first along with the modern folk embroidery sal I will also be starting that on January 1st so next up is Huckleberry Farm. I love this piece. Again, not nearly as much done as I should have. Um, so I think I've only picked this up once. Um, I'm doing this on 36 count Sprite from Picture This Plus. With mostly the Cold Four colors, couple DMCs, but for the most part, it is the called for colors. And this fabric is absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah, I'm doing this 36 count, one over one. Ah, and um, definitely need my magnifying glass to work on this one. So I have a magnifying uh, light that I just attached to my table and work with it that way. But it is such a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pattern. And I will put a picture of that right here so you can take a look. I've seen quite a few other people are also working on Huckleberry Farm. And, you know, and of course they're all way further along than I am, but that's okay. I am going to get some progress on this when it gets called on Whipgo. And next one. After New Year bookcase out, Huckleberry Farm is Christmas ornaments. Uh oh, I think I buried it. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> I kind of put it on. I put it, my Christmas ornament under a pile here. So because I enjoyed the 2015 Prairie Schooler Santa so much, I decided to do another one as a focus. Now, whether or not I'll get that 
done in the allotted eight days. I'm not sure, but if I do, I can always start another Christmas ornament. It's I made that very vague, so it's whatever I feel like working on is what I'm going to work on. So this is the 2019 Prairie Schooler Santa, and this is Peace on Earth. And just, yeah, love stitching these and cannot wait to um, put some time into this one as well. Someone is text messaging me. <laughs> We're going to have to wait. Okay, brief pause, but we're back. So I've only got a few more left to do here. Next up is Pilgrim. Um, long dog samplers. I started this on leak day. Uh, Aaron, two martini stitcher. I started long dog leap day sow. And this is what I have so far. Whoops. Come here. <laughs> There's Grogu. I was wondering where Grogu was when he got left in the bag. I'm sorry, Grogu. Yeah, I'm totally addicted to The Mandalorian. I couldn't believe the season two finale. That just blew me away. Okay. So anyway. Yep. Pilgrim. And I will also be putting this out tomorrow for... Um, it's the 29th of the month, so I will be stitching on this for Long Dog, Long Dog Leap Day Sal again tomorrow. Um, it's probably one of my favorites. No, I think it is my favorite Long Dog right now. Okay. Next up, after Pilgrim, is Quaker Virtues. This is... A definite bap. <laughs> it's huge, but it's going to be so, so gorgeous. This is from Bygone Stitches. I am doing this 28 count, one over one on Lugana. Can you tell I prefer 28 count, one over one? And I am using all 4505, which is Heathered, is the color name. As you can see, it's got the greens and the violets, all with the heathered gray tones. They're very, very pretty. Also, another one that I just have a teeny tiny start on. Oh, I'm sorry, I was wrong. This isn't 28 count. This is 25 count potato Lugana. So this is what I have so far. And, yeah, this is just top left. Absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm hoping I can figure out editing on this because I've had to split it into two videos and I've not done that before. So <laughs> hopefully I will get this right and get it all uploaded today. All right, after Quaker Virtues is from M Kiss of Creations and it's Practical Magic. And I will put a picture of that here. And it's called Things I Know for Certain. Um, and it's from the movie Practical Magic. So that it'd be always throw spilled salt over your left shoulder. Uh, plant rosemary by the garden gate. Mm. Lavender for luck and fall in love whenever you can and then it's got witches all along the bottom It is so cool and I am looking forward to that one as well After that I'm going to go with coffee confessions. It's falling over This is also from uh, this is heartstring samplery actually and it's coffee confessions I don't have a problem with coffee. I have a problem without coffee. That is definitely me. This is on 18 Count Fiddlers, Ada. And this is where I'm at so far. Let's see if I can 
there we go. Very, very pretty. I love that bird and the little tree is just adorable. So, yeah. This is another one. And this is one I could get a real possibility of finishing as well. And so I'm hoping I get it finished. We'll see. Um, that might be a gift. And I may decide, no, I want to keep it myself. I... <laughs> I have to make up my mind on it. So next up is Cross Stitch Nation. This is also from Heartstring Samplery. Um, I am going to be changing some of the face and skin tones on this one uh, to better represent, but I do love this pattern. I belong to the Cross Stitch Nation, absolutely. And yeah, this is on Vintage Country Mocha. And again, another one with a teeny tiny little itty bitty middle, middle, minuscule <laughs> start. That's it, literally. So this needs some time because I really like this pattern. So I need to put some work into it. <laughs> And then finally, now these are not all my whips, what I have on my whip go board, but these are the ones that I want to put focus on. If you'd like to see a whip parade with the ones that didn't make the whip go board, you can mention that in the comments below. I'm happy to hear, you know, I, I no problem with doing a whip parade with my non whip go items that will probably not get worked on this year and it doesn't mean I don't like them it just I ran out of spaces on the wheel so this is pandemic I am using sulky threads forever greens which yeah I love this one and 3371 DMC So hopefully I'm going to be able to figure out how to put these two videos together and upload them and put in all the pictures and all the good stuff. Thank you so much for th <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you watching the videos. I know there's a lot of great floss tubes out there. I will probably be doing a whip parade um, viewing extravaganza this weekend and see how many uh, whip parade floss tubes I can squeeze in this weekend. <laughs> I know I'm going to be watching Animal Instincts later tonight, and I'm sure there's going to be a bunch more. Thanks again so much for joining me. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll see you in two weeks. Happy New Year, everybody. May 2021 be just normal. Bye-bye. <laughs>